particularly in the cannabis industry. Now, True Terpenes is a company that is in the industry, but it is an ancillary, uh, and it, uh, it provides ancillary uh, products, so it doesn't do cannabis per se, but it works in the industry, right? Um, but I, I think I see I've seen this with cannabis companies. I think I, I think we could probably see it in other industries as well, where there's this. Um, this strong desire on behalf of the operators and the entrepreneurs to have everybody in the company, no matter what their function or role is to really fit in with the company culture. And, um, I've wondered about that exact issue when it comes to building an accounting team, because, mm -hmm. you know, particularly with the account in the cannabis industry, it's like, well, I, you definitely can find there are, we do have colleagues out there and, and, and accountants who, who kind of, can fit into the cannabis culture to some extent or into that industry's culture and into the growth company culture, but maybe not all the way. Yeah. Um, and so I, yeah, I just love to hear kind of your thoughts about like, you know, does, does the accounting team actually have to fit into the culture in the same way that the rest of the c company players do, or, you know, uh, is, is it possible that, that you have an accounting and finance team that maybe has a little bit of a different, uh, bent on the culture? Yeah, that's well. That's an interesting. That's a really good question. I've, I haven't thought about that really deeply. But what I could say is this: it's it's it doesn't necessarily have to be that the person's exactly the same, right? And again, this go, always goes back to relationships. And I always think of people who are dating or something. You can have exact opposites attract, right? And I would say that in this situation of accountants in the cannabis space or ancillary cannabis space, just in that general vibe, is do other people like them in the company? Like even if they're different personality that makes a very big difference because i can say that there's certain times where you'll find someone who might fit in in terms of the actual let's say swagger they have right but then when you actually comes down to the personality people don't really like them so technically they're part of the culture but people don't like them anyway um it's it's interesting though because i generally find that accountants are really pleasant people in general like i don't know what it is but i think it might be a lot of the the people that the industry itself attracts is that we, we tend to be pretty level-headed and we, we tend to be more calm and cool in a lot of situations. But this might be just my own prejudice of the people I know and that I've seen. Um, so I don't think it necessarily has to be like, when it comes to down to cannabis, it's not like I have to be like smoking with all the other people if they're doing that, right? They don't they don't actually care if that you're doing that. They actually, a lot of the times it's, they might not want you to be smoking all the time, right? Because you're the person who's doing the detail financials. Sure, maybe, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't yeah, be. you're their accountant. Yeah, they don't yeah. want you out there doing that with them. Yeah. Exactly, which is which is kind of funny <laughs> because you and I noticed this too, which is yeah. back in the day when we were working with a lot of different cannabis clients, you'd think that maybe they would like to have an accountant who is dressed the same in hoodies and like, you know, jeans or whatever. But we found that they really appreciated when we were showing up in like suits and ties. It's because it showed that we might be really competent people. I mean, what you wear really does make a difference to people in the first time they meet you too. And that was a situation where I noticed it right away, which is a lot of the clients were looking for almost reassurance. And that reassurance was they themselves felt almost like a imposter syndrome. They had this business where they didn't understand necessarily all the business side of it, and they were actually quite frightened. And with having someone who appeared the part and played that role for them, that was an accountant that knew what they were doing, and that sometimes shows in you know the way you dress and in, in, in terms of like professionally, we noticed that they liked that. They really appreciated it, which was kind of fascinating to me because I, di I didn't even think about that till I started noticing that.